This is a 55 year young woman who shows up to my office requesting facial rejuvenation. She states that she is extremely energetic, she works out, she has a full time job, she does everything that she has always done. However, the problem is, is that when she sees herself in the mirror, there's a bit of a disconnect between the amount of energy she has on the inside versus what she looks like in the mirror. So she comes in requesting to have both of those kind of match a little bit more closely. So we analyzed her and we basically, this is what we came up with. So first of all, when we look at her top to bottom, we see that there's a little bit of fullness right here in the upper eyelid region. She has these beautiful blue eyes and this little amount of fullness kind of makes those eyes look a little tired. It's worse so here on the right hand side, but this is not really excess skin as much as it is flattening of the lateral, lateral eyebrow. The next thing that we can see is that with volume loss and aging, basically what's happened is this little fat pad here, which is the malar cheek fat pad, has descended down. So where this volume used to be way up high in here, it has started coming down and you see the fullness in this region rather than way up high. The young rejuvenated face has a lot of volume up high and is very sharp and defined down at the bottom, almost like the shape of a heart. And as we age that volume starts coming down we get more of a rectangle or squarish or oval face as that volume starts showing up down here. Overall her jawline if we take a look here her jawline looks okay there is some amount of that fullness in here and there is some laxity definitely in the neck as she bends, um, bends down. So after analyzing her, talking to her, we came up with a surgical game plan. And this is what that surgical game plan kind of looks like. So most of our surgical procedures for facial rejuvenation are done with local anesthesia with oral sedation. Um, and what we decided to do on her is a 4D facelift. This is a procedure that we do and it includes the following a deep plane facelift to really rejuvenate this portion of the face a deep plane neck lift to give her a sharp defined neck structural fat transfer to revolumize that lost volume in the face and a regenerative stem cell protocol to really turn back time some of the additional procedures we ended up doing is a temporal brow lift to really highlight those eyes and lower eyelid surgery to soften some of the lower eyelid issues that she had and voila, here she is. So here she is at about seven to eight days after surgery. You can see that that volume has been repositioned up here. We've even filled in some of this area with fat. Um, she's also filled in this area with fat. So she has a lot of volume in that mid face. The eyes look wide open. Between here and here, you can clearly see that the eyes just look more rejuvenated. Sharper jawline, neckline. Um, and you can just overall, she seems younger, more happy, more rejuvenated. On the profile view, you can clearly see the sharpness in the neck, definitely on the bent view. You can even see that she's freshly post up with a little bit of pinkness still visible in those incisions. Here she is a few months later, okay, still holding on to a lot of that volume, okay, sharp along the jawline. I can't stop her from smiling. She's truly very happy with her result. So every picture I have of her afterwards always shows her smiling, but you can clearly see the profile view, the sharpness in the jawline, lots of definition, lots of volume up here, and the sharpness in the neckline, even on the downward gaze. Another kind of key take home points, you can really see how that incision has healed very nicely. And she has a softness to her face, which is a lot of that volume and structural fat grafting, and her eyes look wide open. This is why it is so imperative to come up with a surgical game plan that is unique for each and every patient. So even though I said we did her 4D facelift, which is something I do very commonly, that procedure is just a name and is really tailored to each and every patient. So if you're interested in facial rejuvenation, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We'd love to chat with you and kind of go through the same process in you to give long-standing results that not only look natural on you, but just really look like we've turned the clock back. Thank you very much, and I hope this has been extremely informative for you.
I am about two months out from having a full facelift, neck lift, lower face, upper um, eyelid facelift, and lower eyelids. Um, I originally came to see Dr. Othere um, because I um, was concerned about the skin around my eyes and um, I thought I had jowls and just a lot of excess skin and my friend had um, recently just had a facelift with Dr. Othere and she looked amazing so I thought I would come and see what Dr. Othere could do for me and I'm really I'm thrilled that I did because he filled my face with um, he, fat and he made my face look more full, um, more plump and um, I see less wrinkles and what I thought were jowls are gone now. Um, he also put some lip filler in. Um, I was very nervous about the lips. I told him I don't want to have, you know, really big lips and he made them look very natural and so I'm very thrilled with um, the progress that my face has made so far. Um, during the procedure um, when he was doing my the lower eyelid pinch, um, there was some Bellafil left over from a previous procedure and he had to basically do reconstructive surgery on my lower eyelid which made me a little nervous about what it was going to look like at the end but he did a fabulous job and you can't tell at all that there was um, excess swelling on that side and that I had a complication due to prior procedures and he made my eyes look significantly better than what they did before and I couldn't be more happy.